Parasitic diseases caused by intestinal parasites affect billions of people and kill millions annually. Finding and identifying intestinal parasite eggs in the feces is diagnostic and basis of the treatment. It's a fact that intestinal parasites cause many illnesses and mortality throughout the world. More than 1.3 billion people worldwide have ascariasis and 250 million suffer from associated morbidity. Trichoriasis afflicts about 1 billion people throughout the world. Hookworms infect over 1.25 billion people throughout the world. The hookworms are medically important human parasites and cause serious morbidity in many parts of the world. Parasite infections cause diarrhea for extended period of time, blood in the stool, dehydration. They also aggravate malnutrition and weight loss, cause protein and micronutrition depletion, promote anemia and fatigue. Specific negative effects include intestinal inflammation and changes in gastrointestinal physiology and, if they are left untreated, it leads to irreversible organ damage. Parasite infections inhibit growth and increase morbidity and mortality. The impact of parasite infection is stark. Groups that are most vulnerable for the negative effects of intestinal parasite infections are children, pregnant women and their unborn child, elderly and people with comorbidities. According to a study done in Cambodia, children with parasite infections not only weighed as much as 2 kilograms less than healthy children, they also had a much higher chance of becoming anemic. Once antiparasite treatments was given, infected children showed a dramatic increase in their short and long-term memory, as well as their reasoning capacity and reading comprehension. They also showed up at school much often than earlier. In pregnant women, intestinal parasite infections increase anemia, which results in low pregnancy weight gain and intrauterine growth restriction, followed by low birth weight, which is associated with greater risk of infection and higher perinatal mortality rates. And pregnant intestinal parasitic infection seems to impact on newborn health as well. According to studies, Gastrointestinal problems are among the most common health problems of elderly people and a leading cause of death in, for example, in Bangladesh, Myanmar, Thailand, Nepal and India. The reported prevalence of intestinal parasitosis in these areas among people of 60 years and higher correlates strongly with the gastrointestinal problems leading to hospitalization and death. People with immunocompromised diseases like specific cancers and HIV and AIDS, infections complications are frequent causes of morbidity and mortality. A study reveals that increased use of corticosteroids in chemotherapeutic regimens has increased parasitic infections in cancer patients, leading to deaths among patients with cancer. Another study showed that chronic diarrhea is responsible of considerable morbidity and mortality in HIV strep positive and AIDS patients. This graph, based on data from WHO, shows that parasitic diseases caused by helminths, such as hookworms, whipworms, and roundworms, and protozoa, are major causes of human disease and misery, plague billions of people and kill millions annually. Parasitic diseases are a present and worsening threat to human health and welfare around the globe. The global burden of disease of these three major intestinal nematodes is an estimated 39 million disability adjusted life years, as compared with malaria at 35.7 million disability adjusted life years. These figures illustrate why healthcare resources must be used for their control and before that to reliably diagnose intestinal parasite infections. 
To diagnose intestinal parasite infections, good concentration method is fundamental because poor recovery of the parasites leads to, for example, to false negatives that can be lethal. For proper diagnosis, the sample analysis needs to offer high sensitivity with great morphology of ova and oocysts, have little or no cross-contamination risk, and provide consistent results, as it enables the laboratory to have a standardized procedure in place. The methods must also be safe for lab staff, preferably no contact with hazardous samples or regions, and minimum requirements for space and laboratory staff. And for most labs, cost matters a lot. For more information, please contact Mediterranea at www.mediterranea.com.sg.